we are going to be jumping into uh, Metal Gear Solid. It is a game I played. Uh, it was actually like two years ago, according to according to the thing. I played it two years ago, Give this people and uh, for like a couple hours, and then never went back to it. So I, I don't. It's that was so little. Uh, yeah, not a lot. Not a lot actually in there. I enjoyed it. Like I enjoyed the the small amount I played. But uh, I found the controls pretty frustrating. The controls were kind of annoying. So uh, we're going to try it again. I guess uh, there's been updates to it. I guess we'll see how it goes this time. I may have to rebind some controls or whatever. Uh, I'm playing this on the good old games. On good old games. So that is going to be the plan. Uh, but yeah. How you guys doing? Good evening. Uh, right, let's turn this off. And uh, let's load it up. Yeah, there was a uh, Twin Snakes as the uh, what's it called? That's the GameCube version, right? I wonder how significantly that that differs from this game. I don't know, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Uh, Fishy Phalanx, thanks so much for the twenty-one months. Abe Lincoln, thank you for the fifty-six months. Bellinon, thanks for the resub. Uh, Ism Gear, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Melamine, thank you for the thirty-eight months. Appreciate it. Twin Snakes runs on the Metal Gear Solid 2. Twin Snakes is dope. It's a oh, it's a here. totally different game. Interesting. You've only ever played Metal Gear Rising. I think that that's a very different game. This is not on Steam. Uh, Metal Gear Solid is not on Steam. This is on good old games. Good old games. Hmm? Twin Snakes is the worst version. The nuclear weapons disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. They're demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Yeah, I think the one thing I remember. Objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA chief Donald Anderson. Is that Snake repeats everything in the form of a question. <laughs> Both are being held. As I remember hostages. that. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike. Nuclear strike. To stop them if they do. Stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? Approach the disposal facility by sub. Okay. And then we'll launch a one man SDV. After the SDV gets as close as it can, how I read it. chat? From there on, you'll have to swim. Come on, don't bullshit me. <laughs> High tech special forces unit Foxhound, your former unit. And one that I was a commander. I like that the game literally begins so with a cutscene too. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf, the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. It's always Decoy beautiful Octopus, and deadly. Master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. <laughs> and Revolver Ocelot. Specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound squad leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. Liquid and Snake? The code name is you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes, this is a top secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Really cool intro, though. Really, really cool intro. It really sets the stage. It's very, it's very movie esque. Like what a what a cool intro to the game, right? Yeah, that's fantastic. All right, Metal Gear Solid. Gonna go new game. For uh, how old that intro is still? Oh, dude, super good. Very Bond like. It's basically a 90s action movie. Uh, thank you, BTE Killer. Thank you, Richard Pack. Appreciate it. Okay. Uh, new game. Very easy, easy, normal, hard, extreme. <laughs> 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 
What 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 pray tell is uh is what is extreme? Not extreme. So like can somebody explain to me what these mean? Hard and extreme are intense. Do very easy. Please, for the love of God, do normal. Radar off is stupid. Game, it's game over on sites. No, fuck off. Really? No extreme. It's permadeath. You're kidding me. Is that actually what it means? If you get caught, you lose. Very easy. It's a very hard game, even on normal. The difficulty options are fucked. It's crazy hard at most. It's kind of crazy that it turns off the radar. Is that is this like the only Metal Gear game that turns off the radar? Is that the only game that does that? Normal is hard as fuck too. I don't know if the other the other Metal Gear Solid games also turn that off. In extreme, you get one shot basically. Stick with normal, normal. Yeah, I like you guys. You guys are like begging me to go normal. <laughs> Why can't you just be normal? Normal is the intended first playthrough experience. Later games introduce European Extreme, which is even harder. I don't know if normal is hard by any stretch. Extreme is actual real life. You die in extreme, Kojima comes to your house and shoots you. <laughs> Go hard. Do hard, you so you soy boy. Oh, but not extreme. The rare time chat actually doesn't want Barb to suffer. Two hours later. It's not permanent. Play extreme like a TSM. Play hard. You're a big man. Uh, it's like your first run through Resident Evil 4 on the channel. You'll have more fun. When, since when was this stream about having hard? Play on normal. We want you to like this game. I don't know. I don't know what to pick. Uh, Tengu, thank you for the six months. Thank you very much. Chat may need this today. <laughs> play normal. Play extreme. Normal, please. All right, everybody wants normal. Everybody wants normal. What do you what do you, what do you get from very easy anyway? Normal is the best experience. Normal it is, chat. We'll be normal. Let's be normal. You get double radar. Uh, I'm playing on good old games. Good old games is really the only way to play this right now. You would need like retro setup and shit for PlayStation 1, all that stuff. Should have went hard. Have I played other Metal Gear Solid games? So my, um... I know it. I'm going to swat down a couple of bothersome flies. Hmm, yes. It's on PlayStation 3. Yeah, but capturing PS3 is a nightmare. It's really annoying. Hmm, yes. <laughs> no, I did not choose extreme. I was out. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface. But make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the codec, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay. I better replay go. Unmetal after this. You can play Twin Snakes version if you have a GameCube. Oh, okay, so I can crouch. Oh boy. Uh, I don't know if I'd say this necessarily feels better. Let's see. Than it did last time. How do you, uh... So why is first person? Okay. If I, uh, what happens if I hold A here? Hang on. Because <laughs> that's how I, like, crouch. Okay, got you. Right, right. Well, you, you go, you look at first person view by holding Y, so there kind of is a first person view. I don't think it's, it's not really like a first person shooter, but. Okay. You can't wait for the Psycho Mantis fight. Son of a 
bitch. Uh, Trappist, thank you for the resub. Italian, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. What was that noise? Snake, there's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. Okay. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. Yep, I, I got it. Thank you. Uh, oh, I found a ration. Uh, SSJ Gray Fox, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate that. Uh, elevator? Nope. Elevator? I have to, like, punch this? No idea. Give it a minute, I, I guess. A high B. The credits have to roll, and the credits gotta go this entire time, huh? Oh, bitch. shit. Ah, there we go. Uh, mustache so hot. Thank you for the 18 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. No noise. I, I thought I saw an item over here. Oh, you know what? It might be on the other side here. Ah, there we go. Another ration. Give this people air. Huh? That noise? No noise. No noises here. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Uh, Dr. Swarkeen, thank you for the 35 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm playing on, uh, on good old games. That's right. <laughs> Colonel, I'm trying to sneak around, but I'm dummy thick. And the clap of my ass cheeks keeps eluding the guards. <laughs> uh, dead last. Thank you for the 16 months. Thank you very much. They want to rename. Uh, you're wish you name yourself Tedious Barb, so we could all refer to you as Ted. Uh, no. Well, are you reading the differences in difficulty? We selected correctly this time. How much do you know about this game? Uh, not a lot. Uh, so I've played, I played Metal Gear Solid 2 was the first Metal Gear game I ever played. No I played it when it first came out. I was deeply confused. I had no idea what was going on. I played Metal Gear Solid 3. I really liked Metal Gear Solid 3. Uh, I never played 4 or 5. Uh, I also played Unmetal. So those are, those are the games I've played. Bitch. It's Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar are should have already been those are, are those pretty outdated at this point? I, I don't know military. Those are pretty outdated, aren't they? Is it F-18s now or something? D. Colonel. I Son D. of a bitch. A Russian gunship at that here? time, they weren't. I have 90s just like F35. Got their attention. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. Still in use and being upgraded. Interesting. Uh Savior Cat, thank you for the resub. Zippers, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Thank you for playing this game on normal. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome.
The F-35 is junk. hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. Damn. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous solid snake. But uh, I'm surprised. You're My snake is pretty solid, here. if you know what I mean. <laughs> Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Oh, yeah. you. I'm looking forward to learning about the man behind the legend. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome so all the guards are nearsighted? Like, severely nearsighted? Due to their gene therapy. <laughs> they can sure really only see about see. six feet in front of themselves. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. The diaper chief. There's going to be a lot of cutscenes, I think, Snake, in this playthrough. Your radar through. isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. The best movie you'll we'll play be this year. <laughs> movements by radar, so contact we'll have to load up uh, Death Stranding sometime as well. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to record your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Okay. 14096. Except for your binoculars, you're naked. You need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. This game is horny oh, as hell. I'll do that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage Come to smuggle on. out Don't my smokes. Don't bullshit me. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. Uh, Night Trace, thank you for the 32 months. If you thank you very in. much. There's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. Uh, there's one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. <laughs> the old prison trick to smuggle those cigarettes out. What is Unmetal? Unmetal's kind of a uh, comedy the version of the, the Metal Gear series. It's a really fun game. Really fun. There should also be a duct on the second floor. Okay. The most violent of fruit. I can't see yeah. it from here. Okay. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. Thanks for the abbreviations. All right, so 14096 to save. Oh, hang on, I hit the wrong button. Uh, yeah, this is good old games. What is it, Snake? Save. Okay, I think these are my old saves. Snake, remember what the girl said. The graveyards are full of indispensable men. Snake, you're all alone and surrounded by bad guys. Try to be careful and avoid hmm? getting into a fight whenever you can. No, I've right. never played Metal Gear Solid. Well, you know all sorts of great quotes, don't you? <laughs> well, both my parents are from Guangdong, China. But I was born and raised in America. I've always liked reading literature from both sides. Kinda keeps me in touch. 
I'll share some more quotes with you if you like. Have speedruns spoiled this? Uh, I don't. I've, don't I've never watched a Metal Gear Solid speedrun in my life. Well, <laughs> I've never I'll seen any of it. Uh, I have played Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3. Dude, it's been so long since I played those games, though. It's been so long. So. Right, let's see. A very, very long time for me. Ooh, I kind of, I don't know, I don't know what that is, but I kind of want that. Nope. <laughs> Shit. Oh, ow. What is it? Let's grab it. Chaff grenades. Oh. Warning. Big walk. Ah. Snake! <laughs> Great start. Ah, uh, Hollytown, thanks for the $20. Thank you so much. Night tracing for 32 months. Save your cat. Thank you for the resub. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. It's gonna be, uh, we gotta grab this though, right? Ah. So this would be the surveillance camera. Uh. Uh, let's see. Uh, is it, uh, let's see, these are rations. Ah, here we go. Aha! Stun grenades? Is this Twin Snakes? No, we're playing on, uh, good old games. Uh, Weed Stalker, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. So do we think uh, this is going to wake this guy up? Would a chaff grenade wake him up, I wonder? Let's see. Huh? What was that noise? Hmm. Surprise! Oh, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So far, so good. Rats! Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? Master? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? <laughs> Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Thank you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Those mice are Alaskan field mice. Don't worry, they can't hurt you. If this Wild people here eyes don't have a thick layer of fat, a familiar voice this guy I feel like I've heard him in a lot of other things Leonardo from Ninja Turtles snow. uh That's super do you do law super dash law thing for the six months but there's a dark side too sometimes the males will kill and eat offspring that's not their own to ensure the survival of their own genes right yeah pretty brilliant program huh if there are mice, that means there must be an exit somewhere. Follow the mice. Follow the rats. Um, uh oh. The rats led me underwater.
Field mouse. Field, field mouse. I like that the mice also have the exclamation point. <laughs> I like that too. <laughs> Pretty funny. We can swim. Kojima is a genius. So the, the terrorists here, like the this group, they want big bosses remains. So they want, they want, I, and big boss is one of the other characters. Like he, that's who you play as in Metal Gear Solid 3. They want his dead body. They want his remains. Why, why on earth would they want his remains? How, what the fuck? Ow! Wow, great! Far things are going great. <laughs> we're all ready. To, oh, we're back. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you crawl take down towards the guy. Here. You're gonna be Try hearing that a lot, probably. Yeah. Whoa, 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 you whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's a good thing these guards aren't looking up. What kind of uh, using the elevator? What's that? Oh. <laughs> Oh, right. I'm, they can't hear or see. Elevator. So calm. Ah, we have a gun. Ooh, shit. Got you. So calm, these nuts. More chaff grenades. So it kind of looked like the elevator was over there. So this is kind of like a side thing, I guess, to pick up this other stuff, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I, I feel like Snake is making those noises all over the place as he's sneaking around. Like, <laughs> so that looks like the elevator. I don't know if there's like a way to activate it. Come on, don't bullshit me. Yeah, yeah, he's making he's making like three stooges noises all over the place. Uh sleep even, thank you for the twenty-four months. Thank you very much. Well, I played Metal Gear Solid 2 when that came out. Um Okay. How do I Oh, yeah, okay, press B. You have to punch it. Uh, okay. Up. <laughs> have I played the Phantom Pain? No, I have not. When, when Metal Gear Solid 2 came out, dude, uh, that was an insanely hype game. People were so hyped about it. And I was like, well, I guess I'll just play. I never played Metal Gear Solid 1. I was like, I guess I'll just play 2. Uh, I, 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 I gotta say, I loved Metal Gear Solid 2. I just like, I'd say like about like 40 to like 30 to 40% in. I had no idea what was going on. But I was like sitting there. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Look at the radar. It's picking up the DARPA chief. He's the green dot. Hurry and rescue him. Oh, uh, I mean, I went in pretty much just whatever. I definitely, I definitely like Snake more than Raiden for sure. But okay, 
the capster? The la 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 Hang on. Snakey's here. Snakey's here. He's like, listen, this game, my name is Snake. I deserve to be here. Excuse me, sir. I deserve to be on the stream. <laughs> Hang on. Let's make uh, Snakey a little bit smaller. There we go. He says, I deserve to be here. My name is Snake. Uh, Yeah, my cat's name is uh, Snake Pliskin. Every time Snake sounds up on stream, we need to have the alert to play. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, hang on, game? Oh. Uh, continue, there we go, should be good. You make your cat call you sir. Snake! Kitty broke it, are we good? We all good? My little cow, stream good? Snake, if you wanna go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. Okay. Gotcha. Up the ladder. Colonel. Snake Pliskin, a lot of people still don't get it. Uh, Snake Pliskin is uh, the name of the character from Escape from New York, which I'm a huge John Carpenter fan. I've always loved Escape from New York. Uh, and Kojima, when he made the character Snake and he developed Snake and Big Boss and all those things, like he was essentially shamelessly ripping off John Carpenter, but John Carpenter is cool with it. Like he's basically like, yeah, it's fine uh, because Kojima is really nice to him. So he's like, yeah, go for it. Whatever's fine. Because <laughs> John, John Carpenter is like ultra giga Chad. He's like, yeah, whatever. That's fine. Kojima W. Yeah, I think that's W's all around. Mm hmm. Yeah, John Carpenter actually is like a big video game guy, too. Like, he loves Dead Space and shit. Yeah, he's a big video game guy, so it's a uh, kismet, I guess. Snake, the DARPA chief signal is coming from somewhere in that area. Isn't there some place to drop down? Take a look around in first person view mode. Okay. Uh, probably tall. Thank you for 17 months. Thank you very much. Who, who, who's that? I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. Uh, what? How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for keeping the dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. What I'm about to tell you is classified information. Should we be having this okay. conversation in a prison cell? We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A weapon that will change the world. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. Weapon? A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear. <laughs> it can't be. You knew? They said Metal it! Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken Son place like this? Bitch. Uh, I uh photography, thank you for the 17 scrapped. months. Thank you very much. On the contrary. It's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. 
We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. Son of a bitch. The voice acting is very high quality this for this game so far, though. The revolution. 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 Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex. Rex. <laughs> Metal Gear Rex. Stop repeating everything I say in the form of a question. Prototype. We already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in question. And equipping weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? <sighs> wow, he really is sneaky. But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL? Yes, of course, there is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes, Baker knows one, and I know one. You think talking to Snake Baker. is like the most frustrating the experience tank. ever? <laughs> That's right. It's gotta Each be the most annoying to person to ever talk to. There can be no launch. Launch. But they found out my password. You password. <laughs> Every time. Psychomantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Annoying. Psychomantis. Stop it! One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. Hey, nice triangles on her. <laughs> They find out Baker's password. That's some nice triangles. Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. That card key. So where are the keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert triangular card toilet paper. It hurts. Painful. Okay. <laughs> three card keys. Uh, trip or you know seven three. three. Thank you for the Baker. six months. Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement. I heard the guards say they moved him to an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. Is that It'll your hand? Any level one security <laughs> Does it's he have a lobster a claw? Hand. Like, what was it that? together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as the transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data. Penguin hand. The card, <laughs> and the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So does the White House plan to give in to the terrorists' demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? What is it? He's got the bubble guts. The toilet's right there, bro. What happened? Too many double downs. What happened? I... I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart attack? No. Colonel, 
Are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security level red. You need the highest security clearance to get access to the complete file. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you. The Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't that's have that's time that. to debate. <laughs> get out of there and find President Baker. Oh, how... how they also had the president? Did I miss that earlier? I didn't realize they also had the president. I thought they were threatening the pre the White House. Okay. I guess they also have the president. Uh. Oh. Oh, that worked? <laughs> oh, the president of the company. So you killed the chief, you bastard. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <sighs> Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. What happens if you don't have a gun right that here? This glance, that scared look in your eyes. They're rookie's eyes if I ever saw them. You've never shot a person, am I right? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie. You're not one of them, are you? You Open use a bandana, door. he gives you one. Oh. You got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot! Ah! What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot! Ah! Ration? Ow! Hey, you want to help me out? What? Okay. <laughs> sure. Thanks for the help. Wait. <laughs> Who are you? You fool. You've killed him. I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Now we'll never get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. That's oh, a bottomless machine gun here.
That was a lot Naomi, of shit. I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nano machines? No, Snake. The nano machines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So that was Mantis. Psycho Mantis. Okay. Uh let's see. So I can't go Come back. On. That that's no where the prison cake. cells were. Okay. Uh Sugar Falcon, thank you for the 30 months. Furtive Badger, thank you for the tier 3, 23 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Okay. Uh, uh let's see, where are we going? Oh, okay, I see. Up, oh, same. Better have a two-player controller for Psycho Mantis. Mmm, <laughs> yes. Yes, he has one tasty triangle here. <laughs> I remember, uh... I remember the first time in uh, when I so when I played Metal Gear Solid 2 for the first time. There's a long sequence in Metal Gear Solid 2 where you play as Raiden and he's naked, and you're still doing like flips around and shit. It's like <laughs> I still remember that. How come he's not naked? Yeah, the cartwheel, right, right. I remember thinking like, oh my god, like what what is this fucking game I'm playing? What is this? <laughs> I remember thinking that. Uh, let's see. Am I going here? Hit that switch. Kojima moment. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid 2 is pretty wild. Uh, so that's, that's where we are. I think we want to go to B2. In the original version, he doesn't wear his pants and his ass is blurred. Oh, so is this the second floor basement? Okay. The Arsenal Gear sequence. Uh, yes, I played Metal Gear Solid 3 back when it first came out. Uh, man, I, I, looking back, I haven't played it since, I haven't played it since then pretty much, but that, that is one of my favorite games of all time. I haven't played it in a really long time though. So who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe it doesn't hold up as well. I don't know. No idea. But uh, I do remember really loving that game. Looking forward to it. Uh, I love Metal Gear Solid 3. Oh my god. But that that could be a lot of nostalgia. Well, that could be a lot of nostalgia. Well, we found a bunch of C4. Uh, okay, so I think that's we use that. He was talking about the walls that are a different color. Okay. Got you. It's been so long, I, I don't know. Would definitely be interesting to replay them as an adult. I, I remember a whole lot of uh, what was the chick's name from Metal Gear Solid Three, and they like throw her tits in your face constantly. It's like never stops. <laughs> yeah, she's like wearing a bathing suit in Soviet Russia, and she's just throwing them in your face nonstop. They're so uh, they're so fan service. It's like pure fan service. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just the the game is the game, you know. Okay, this certainly looks like one of the things I'm looking for here. Uh. Oh. Okay. What the fuck? What is this shit? <laughs> the hell out of here. Okay, uh, maybe I gotta look on the walls. Like, you, you don't really have a good angle of it, but maybe I can, like, look over here. Level four, okay. The demon of two things, incomprehensible plot lines and teenage boys. Here, let's go ahead. The walls that were cemented over should look slightly different. Look at the walls carefully in first person view mode. Try yeah. to find the walls that have a different pattern. Got Did you, you try hitting the wall? Maybe it'll sound different too. Those C4 explosives you've got should be able to destroy the walls that were cemented over. 
Okay. Gonna make sure we save. Uh, wait. There we go. What can I do for you, Snake? Save. Give this people Snake, air. Listen to what Lo Chi said. He who knows that enough is enough will always have enough. Just because you see an item doesn't mean that you always have to get it. If you don't really need it, think twice before you stick your neck out. It might not be worth it. Bullshit. I need every item ever. Bullshit. <laughs> ah, here we go. There's an item right there. There's a thing over here. Uh, TTU Lang, thanks so much for the five months. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Another wall. And another. All right. What's up, Ho Flax? How are you? She reprised her character each time again. She showed up again in the series with the actor's accent faded over the years. That's kind of funny, right? Probably just experience. Yeah, I'm playing the PC the version on good old You're games. Is the tech version tech I'm playing. Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. No, don't touch it. C4. Right. Touch that wire, and the C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver <laughs> Ocelot. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. <laughs> so now good. see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt single action army. Six bullets, <laughs> more than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call Give me. Give this people air. Revolver. Draw! Ah. Draw! Ow! I love to reload it. All right. I'm alive. Let's go. Did I just shoot the president? Don't you want to settle this? Get back here! Get back here! Get back here, you son of a bitch!
is that, is that Ren and Stimpy? Like, what is that? <laughs> you idiot! Uh, Capital Her. Thank you for the 55 months. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, this way. Stimpy! Come on, don't bullshit me. Uh, Mecha Eeyore, thank you so much for the, uh, 43 months. Appreciate it. Hmm? Wrong! Hiding won't help me. I understand the bullet you see. I make them go where I want them. Man, it's really hard to aim here. Like, really, really hard. I love to reload during a battle. How do you run with the gun drawn? How do you do that? Do you have a knife? Let's go. L1. Okay, so I've got, I've got like a whole fucking thing with the controls here. Uh, I don't know how to do that. Um, hold square plus X. Yeah, I see like... My controls are... are I don't know what the controls are what. I can show you my menu here. Oh, there we go. I got it. I got it. I have to hold A and X at the same time. Got it. I love the smell of corn. It's so smell. But to you, it would be the smell of your own death. Ring around the rosy, pretty much. Okay, it kind of looks like you can get him in a loop good. up there a little bit. Just what huh? I expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight, but I'm just getting warmed up. What? My hand! <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, so many things happen in the first hour that make no you? sense. I'm not one of them. So the many things happen. <laughs> gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're, you're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. 
I managed to resist Psycho Mantis' mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? <laughs> kind of like a psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Come Even on, the DARPA don't chief, bullshit of course. me. But the DARPA chief said Tian Fang, thanks for 40 months. Monka S. Mecha sure Eeyore, thanks for right. resubs. Thank yeah, you very much. I'm sure. In that case, how did they get your code? Give this people I air. I never had any training on how to resist torture. <laughs> Looks like he had some fun with you, all right. Oh, he's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Ha! Huh. You're a funny man. So the Come on, chief don't bullshit is he okay? Me. Dead. What? I can't be. You know that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Oh. Ow! Calm down. What's Ow. wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. Uh, I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Oh, who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry, always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. You still have the card keys. Card keys? To override the dead. It's code. Is this contagious? It's a catching? No. Now everybody's not answering in the form what? of a question. Who does then? Not the terrorists. Card no. keys. That woman. Woman. Woman? <laughs> Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. A female soldier, it must be. She said she had just joined up as a new recruit. They threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? <sighs> I gave her the key. Looks like she managed to break out of here, though. What's I up, Chains she's Gold? Okay. How are you? I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? <laughs> yes, she stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she still has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, it's... <gasps> oh. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the CD case. Try to contact her. I don't I'll have it! Right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Where's the CD case? You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? <laughs> the team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A genius at engineering, but a little bit of an odd. Go get my PlayStation 1. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? You'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The threat of nuclear war isn't gone. In fact, it's greater than it's ever been. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen. Have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stacked this high, as far as you can see. Because there's still no real way to dispose of the stuff. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, but several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with no way to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age when any small country can have a nuclear weapons Son of program. A bitch. What about the other superpowers? Russia and China still maintain a significant nuclear presence. Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. 
to maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear. Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets. Arthur Yin's so Dr. Cushman, thank you for the resub. I remember resubs. hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Give this people yes. air. And after my company lost their bid to produce the Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even those bleeding heart liberals on the military oversight committee. <laughs> Them goddamn liberals. Well, I prefer to think of it as good business. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you and your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here, th this is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the Stop data. the steal, kind of Baker. <laughs> all the data collected from <laughs> Yeah, he exercise. definitely voted for Trump. Don't play dumb. What's going on with his face on the left side? This. Is that his goiter? I like him from that sadistic <laughs> maniac while he was torturing me. <laughs> they don't know this disc exists. The hell. Make sure you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. No, you go on without me. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. That ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <coughs> I feel like alcohol uh, would improve the... You know him? Would really improve the story you of this game. Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. I feel like I need alcohol. She knows better than I. Naomi. You've got to stop them. If it goes public, Alcohol. my company and I are <laughs> finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? Oh, no. Oh, no, it can't be. Those Pentagon bastards. So, they, they actually went in. Did it? What are you talking about? They, they, they are just using you for. Give this people ear. Well, this guy got fucked. Like, broken arm, tied to C4, killed by the. I, I assume the Pentagon and the Colonel are killing these guys? And Snake is not aware? Colonel, are you listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or dioxides, but we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. What does that even mean? Get in contact with her. <laughs> Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference so, so coming your from there. So your trick and what? It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. <laughs> Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Yeah, is that an admission? Are you sure? Yes, we have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Bitch, I'm lying to you. Can I trust this person? More than you can trust me. I'm, uh, you want to run that one by me again? Uh, huh? Teddy! Do we have cider? Need cider. <laughs> Are we playing on normal? Yeah, chat was, uh, chat was crying for me to, to hang on. Chat was crying for me to not play on hard. They want they wanted normal, so we're on normal. Snakey left. Snake is off on a sneaking mission of his own. 
Uh, no. Continue. Okay, let's, uh... The DARPA chief and President Baker. So now the terrorists know both detonation codes. Yeah, and on top of that, they both died right in front of my eyes. See Say, my brain to be numb, the stat. the terrorists have both detonation codes, the only way to stop a nuclear launch is to either use the detonation code release keys that Merrill's holding, or... Come on, or don't bullshit find me. find the Metal Gear chief engineer that President Baker mentioned. Hal Emmerich. Ah, uh, boy. Thank you for the 47 case, months. Thank Merrill you very much. Kodak. Wasn't her frequency written on the back of the CD case? I don't have the CD case. <laughs> In any case, you should. Yes. Snake, you can't use your radar in that area. There's some kind of. Yep. Uh, save. Okay. Uh, override. Yep. Be careful, Snake. A one four zero point one. Just try every. We'll just have to try every single one. Hit D-pad down. Uh, not there. Hang on. Snake, you can't use your radar. Yep. Uh, yep. Got it. Be careful, Snake. Okay. One four zero. Okay, hang on. No response. Well, we got a lot of checking to do. Oh, was that a two? Oh, hang on. No. I don't know. Check the GG artwork. 420.69 on the Campbell. You got to call her four times. Uh, hello. <laughs> Answer the phone. I guess not. Okay, we have the level two card now. Two hours later. Just Google the CD case. I wonder Come how many on, people have to do me. that, right? Probably a lot of people have to do that. Uh, we're not so good on ammo at the moment. Okay, we're a little better on ammo now. Uh, Mad Dog, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I was trying to push him in. <laughs> oh, we don't have any cold cider. Oh, okay. Oh, oh we have spotting? Sure. What's wrong? Snake. Snake. Didn't go so good. We're trying to reach you about your <laughs> Why can he stand on air exactly? I call bullshit. You idiot. Nano machine. <laughs> Looney Tunes physics, yeah. Oh, hang on, hang on. Okay, so they were... Ah. Okay. Got you. That's why you got cigarettes. Oh, I didn't realize that, that was a machine gun. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Okay. I do think it's a little extreme that the cigarettes come deplete your life. <laughs> I think that's a little... I think that's a little extreme. Like, God damn, I didn't know cigarettes were doing that. Uh, Sheenzy, thank you for the 45 months. Thank you very much. Yeah, all of a sudden, cigarettes are way cooler than I thought they were. <laughs> They're really strong cigarette. Maybe if it was like a cyanide cigarette or something. Okay. 
Okay, I'm assuming we gotta go back up. Let's see. Uh, thank you, Sheenzy. That's why cigarettes hurt you in Gungeon. Yeah, that's right, they do. Did they, but they raise your cool factor in Gungeon, though, right? They do. Ah, thank you. Got something different tonight, guys. I got a spot. I think it's been in the fridge for like a million years. That's so good. Mm. You should get more spotting. Yeah, that's good. No, it's just regular spotting. Uh, Bud ZC, thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys. Is that a beer? Yeah, it's a spotting. It's a German beer. Super good. Super good. How's it spelled? Uh, here you go. Hang on. Spotten. There you go. S P A T E N. Have been Negroni. You know what I like is. Uh, have you ever had Negro Modelo? Oh, I love, with, especially with a lime. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. That shit's so good. Love Modelo. I haven't had one of those in a long time. Modelo Especial. Uh, hang on. There's always got to be the one guy. There's going to be the one guy, isn't there? There you go. Always got to be that guy, isn't there? Hit you up if you want a pint, if you need beer pointers. Uh, hang on. Modelo is A+. Plus. Okay. I think we're going back up to the top here. Let's put on Spaten. Like a, a Steinish spotten. Uh, Zatrakak, thank you for the tier 3 62 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Who are you? Oh. I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. One from the prison? You're the Colonel's niece, Meryl, right? No, it's not him. And just exactly who are you? I'm the fool that your uncle sent all alone into the middle of this whole mess. You came by yourself? You think you're some kind of one-man army? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha! Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people call me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. And they're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Goddamn. Oh, just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. Oh, I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Why would they ever Gosh, replace like him. the voice actor for Snake, David Hayter? He's yeah. so goddamn you good. His him? voice is You're so good. Brothers. Why would they ever replace I him? No family. So what's the deal then? Who knows? Why don't you ask him? But first, I want some information. You were involved in this Hollywood. exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I'm sorry. I was captured along with President Baker right after the terrorist attack. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapons disposal facility. Boy, oh boy, it's just like them. Nobody told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Bombshell and the next generation special forces were called here for the test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help. Got a drink. Oh, hush, hush. Just drink. But drink it away. Nuclear warheads before. Why just this time? I heard it was because If I'm confused, just drink. It'll make it make more sense. Metal Gear program. Well, that's what I heard anyway. Sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Mm, sorry, I'm not sure. 
I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh, yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep them hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, you met Baker, huh? How's he holding up? <laughs> He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack, too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No, not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Hmm, sounds like it, but I have no idea what. Me neither. Give yes. this people air. I think this is the Metal Gear game Metal with Gear. the most gameplay. <laughs> yes. So if the cutscenes are bothering you, Probably maybe the series isn't for you. The research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement. Yeah, that's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. <sighs> What's the best way to get to the building where the doctor is being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building that leads to the north. What's the security level of the door there? Five. But it's okay. I've got a Two level five hours cars. later. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go. I'm going with you. No way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. Oh, yes, you are. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training, but when I thought about my bullets tearing through those soldiers' bodies, I, I hesitated. Shooting at targets and shooting at living, breathing people are different. Ever since I was a little girl, I <laughs> always dreamed about being a soldier. Every day of my life, I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now... So what now? You want to quit? I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, Meryl. Everybody feels sick the first time they kill someone. Unfortunately, killing is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. In a war, all of mankind's worst emotions, worst traits come out. It's easy to forget what a scene is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> it looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Then we'll take care of the detonation code override. Gotcha. But listen, I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Be careful, okay? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's, can we call the... It's nice that they give you a... Uh, oh, hang on. What's up, Snake? Let's go save. Uh, you know, I don't remember... Uh, I don't remember... Like Shakespeare said, <laughs> not had all spent. But our desire is God without content. Basically, it means that your desire can get you into trouble if you're not careful. That goes for items, too. Don't get too greedy or you might be sorry. Be careful, Snake. Thank you. <laughs> yes, goodbye. <laughs> uh, Snackzilla, thank you for the 23 months. Thank you very much. She already said this. Remember, Shakespeare said that life is a tale told by an idiot. Full of sound and fury signifying nothing. Yes, thank you. 
Okay. So I wasn't listening. Where the hell am I supposed to go? <laughs> people here. <laughs> I was listening. Uh, Chino, thank you for the resub. Thank you for the 37 months. Appreciate it. Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see you. Don't move around too much. Don't worry, I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake, the cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait, you said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. Okay, so probably through that door. Is that uh, downstairs? Who's downstairs? Uh, wait, something, something about security. Wait a minute. Hang on. Where's my cigarettes? Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them and the doors will seal off and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow, you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Oh, shit. Uh. Damn. Oh, I guess that doesn't work either. <laughs> uh. Diabetic keyboard. Thank you for the 36 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Hmm. Thank you, diabetic keyboard. <laughs> Smoking is yeah. Smoking is really bad for you. I don't. Do I have? So I've got like chaff grenades, C4 stun grenades, cigarettes. Uh. Oh, if, I guess, can I put the suppressor on the gun? Give this people air. I don't know if that a applies to the FAMAS. I think it applies to the SOCOM. Okay, interesting. Uh, so I guess I'm kind of missing whatever I need. I don't think the scope works, does it? Hang on. Scope work? You can zoom. Okay. Oh, hang on. Okay, so I think I'm, like, missing something. Let's see. Shat grenades. Let me go, uh, let me go check out up here real quick. Up. Oh. Okay, I don't think I've been in here. I think I've been in here. Oh, cardboard box. Okay. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh. 
classic. It's so stupid. <laughs> you know, it's not that stupid. I heard that there was a uh, like a police robot or something like a, like some kind of robot or something. And they were actually able to uh, they were able to break the AI like the detection on it by hiding in a cardboard box. So it's actually not that stupid. Shit. Fuck. Ow. Stop it. Ah, stop. Was the AI really bad? What's wrong? Snake. Snake. It was a it was a military one. Unfortunately, boxes are super weak to eyes. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, please unequip the cigarette because it's killing me. I look cool, but it's killing me. Now, I don't remember if it was Metal Gear Solid 2 or 3, but there were, uh, in, in that game, there were like silent takedowns, I thought, from behind. Like you could basically sneak up from behind somebody and, and take them out, I thought. I don't know if that's like in this game or not or something. I don't remember. Two and three. Yeah, that was that was a really uh, that was a good addition though. That was a really good addition. Just a box. <laughs> you can. Oh, you can choke them out in this. kind of a comedy of errors isn't it maybe it's not if you're like good at it <laughs> maybe if you're good at it it's not a problem it's gonna be a long playthrough ah, i probably will i don't i don't know if this game is particularly long or not i remember metal gear solid 3 was a, was a little long yeah. as old school charm you can throw people So if you hold the attack button behind somebody. Is that two discs for the PlayStation one? Uh, don't look to your left. Um, a mind detector. Uh, now, is, is this is that what I use? Is that what I use here? Huh. Mind D. Use circle. Well, I'm playing on. I, I'm playing on good old games. I, I don't know. Would that be like A or no? It wouldn't be A, right? I don't. Oh, is it this button? Would this be the grab? I don't know if that would be the grab or not. Okay, okay, got you. Uh, show us your best Skeletor voice. Oh, there's a, let's try this ladder as well. Hang on. Go up here. Am I playing this on a PlayStation 1? I am not. No, this is, uh, I don't think this is it. Hang on. I don't think this is it. There's a thing. Hang on. Elender, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Thank you, Elender. Give this people air. Uh, Dead Eye Dixon, thanks for the 12 months. Uh, Mr. Dick Dastardly, thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. 
Appreciate that. Thank what you, guys. You, Snake? Thank you, Alender. Save our game here. Snake in China, they say. You must cross the river before you tell the crocodile he has bad breath. Do you know what that means? It means that the wise man avoids danger first. Use your brain to avoid traps and stay away from the enemy. Okay. Now, uh, can I can I do something here? What is this? Huh. If you skip, you can skip the dialogue of something you've seen before. Hacker man. Barrel contacted you, didn't she? Go through the cargo door in the north part of the hangar. Head for the warhead storage building. Need more box gameplay. There's probably going to be more box gameplay. Uh, how are the controls so far? Makes you want to play Unmetal. This people here. Uh, I'm playing this on PC on good old games is what I'm playing this on right now. All right. Uh, is there another door? Oh, there's a vent down here. Does that all, oh, you know, this vent over here might also take us outside. You supposed to stealth? I am being stealthy. This is very stealthy. Give this people air. Come on, man. What do you want me to do about that? I can't even get up. What do you want me to do? If I walk, he hears the grates. There's no like, do I, ha is this how I have to move across the grate so I don't get hurt? Do I gotta do this? I can't like walk. I, all I can do is run. That's only run. Do, do I have to use the box? Even that still makes noise, right? So I have to crawl, right? There's no analog stick for this game. It's just the D-pad. <laughs> There is no analog stick. It's just D-pad. R1, I'm not, I'm on good old games. This is why I fucking quit this game initially because I'm playing with the most fucking idiotic control system. I have to set it all up myself and it's fucking insane to try to figure out what does what. It's like maddening to try to figure out what does what in this game. That's the problem. I don't know what button does fucking what. You can equip and unequip. It's a trick. The PC port is terrible. Emulator is the only one. If you stick to a wall, I don't think you make any sound. Well, I can't. 
all, look, I, I all I have is a D-pad, so all I can do is press the button. So I either I have zero, I have two speeds: not moving and running at full speed. So I can't like walk at something. I can't like sneak behind. I can't do that. All I can do. That's all I can do. You guys are wrong about toggling items quickly. You can't do that. Yeah, I can do this. Right, right. Like, this is... Even this kind of sucks, though. Come on. Don't bullshit me. Okay, where the fuck am I going? Uh, I have four shoulder buttons. Yes, I know. You're not understanding, though, is that if I want to do something here, I have to open up the controller options and set something. I, I don't know. I don't know what this shit is. I don't know what this means. I don't know how to fucking... I don't know what to do with this shit. I tried to set stuff. Oh, you guys can't even see what I'm looking at here. I've got the controls set up here. Hang on. Let me show you this real quick. Okay, so this is what I have, all right? This is... I've got crawl, action. This, these are the options. This is all I have for the controls. That's it. There's nothing else. So, I, I don't know if you're if you're thinking of something else. I don't know if you see something here. I've got the D-pad set up, but I don't have, like, I can crawl, but there's no walking, right? I can't do that. So, it doesn't exist. It's a bloodbath run, then? Right, so it seems like the only way to walk in the game is to, like, tap at somebody. Kind of tap at it. Stop trying to help me. If you don't know anything about the game, don't try to help me here, because you're, you're just going to infuriate me. Please don't. I appreciate that you're trying to help. You're just going to piss me off. Uh, also, I seem to have locked my game. Uh, I appear to have locked my game. Uh, there we go. We're good. Yeah, you're really, really just going to fucking piss me off. Uh, well, I don't know what else there is to do here. Uh, stun grenades. I don't think a chaff grenade helps. Uh, Roadcraft, Fosberg, Enigma, Kryluck, Flying Pharmacist, Drizzle Marsh, V Risk, Mosquito, Dick Dastardly. Thank you for the resubs. Greatly appreciate that. Thank you very much. I kind of thought I had it there. I kind of thought I had it. HDMI, PS1. No, it's not. It's not possible. No, sorry, it's not going to happen. Uh, was it? Uh, I guess you know. Let's just be safe. I thought I had it. Maybe. Are you having trouble seeing them? Well, I thought I saw them both go up, so I tried to sneak through. The Integral Launcher. I don't know what that is. I literally have no idea what that is. Um, now, am I missing an item or something? Or is am, am I missing an item here? Or is this just what I have to do? I feel like I went all the way through here. And I'm not seeing anything at all. Yes, no. Thank you, chat. Always helpful. Uh, I don't think... The mine detector does anything at all. Um, hmm. I mean, okay, let's take the elevator back down, I guess, because uh, I, I seemingly cannot get through here. Can I use this? I can't. Oh, God. This is so aggravating. <laughs> this is so aggravating, man. Uh, Silent Bachelor, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, no. Chat essentially begged me not to play this on hard. So, I listen to chat. 
If you've got a problem with that, I invite you to uh, eat my taint. Suck my balls. Kiss my ass. In, in, any, in, any, number of, in any number of those. Any combination thereof. I mean, I kind of, I, I think I kind of went into every single one. Where does this go? I think this probably, this is this like the other way that just goes outside here? I think this just goes right back outside, right? Let's see. Teriyaki flavor. I don't think this helps me. I don't think the chaff is going to work. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not even sure why a mine detector. I'm not. I don't think we found a use for that yet. Yeah, this is just going back outside. There's no way they put the fucking whatever the thermal or whatever is here. There's no way they put that outside. I really don't think you're supposed to do this with fucking cigarettes. I really don't. Hmm? Uh, I tried to play Metal Gear Solid 3, but the controls had me running off like the dudes caught by Chris Hansen. I'm not looking for help. No, I'm not actually looking for help. I'm just, that's enough. I, there's going to be so much fucking bullshit in the chat. I'll figure stuff out myself. Thank you. You know what? Honestly, what inf it's not even the backseating that tries to help me. There's just so much wrong information, lies, like, I have no idea. People just like that actually pisses me off way more, honestly. That's like the most infuriating. Like, don't even try to help me. I'll figure stuff out. I promise. <laughs> Eventually, I'll figure it out. Might take me a minute, but we'll get there. So we're on one. Let's go back to B1. Let's check that out. Yeah, I'm not looking for help. I understand the desire to help me, but it's just so impossible to sift through like a thousand people shitting their pants. Like, and I'm like trying to like sift through the dirty diapers for information. Like, it's just, it's just not even worth it. Just don't even bother. Feel free to laugh at me. Like, whatever's fine, but. Oh, uh, what's up, Everyday Taco? How are you? I'm not, I'm not going to bother. Don't, don't, you shouldn't either. That's a good analogy. Okay, so this is lit. I, we've been through here, and this is a level six door. So I guess it's got to be down below. There's nowhere else to really go here yet. Okay. Yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't have this game for PlayStation 2 or PlayStation 1. I did have Metal Gear Solid 2 for PS2. I fucking love that game. Dude, I played the fuck out of that demo. The P the Metal Gear Solid 2 demo. That was like the greatest demo of all fucking time. Oh my god, that demo was so good. On the ship. Hey, you okay? What kind of fucking garbage was that? What kind of fucking trash was that? Bunch of bullshit now. Okay, these are all FAMAS bullets. I don't really think like your movement speed makes like a difference. Uh, you know, I wonder if there's like another wall we can blow up. There might be, there might be another fucking wall we blow up here. I don't know. SOCOM bullet, no smoking. If there is one, I don't see it. 
Level three whoops. Hmm. Maybe uh maybe back oh it ha oh shit. Oh shit. What do we got? Oh, uh, it might blow his ass up if he keeps walking that way. Shaft grenade, stun grenade. Oh, not why. Oh, man. Damn, I thought that was going to be it for sure. Son of a bitch. He didn't die. I think they brought down another guard, I think. I think they brought down another one. Yeah, I thought maybe this was it. I guess uh, in this game, the guards don't... They just disappear, I guess. That's convenient. The sound. You love this game? So can I just, like, run up to you? Honestly, don't even think it's that the controls are are bad on good old games. I think a part of it is that the controls are just bad in this game. Uh, I didn't mean to actually do that. I think it's just got bad controls in the game. I think it's just, I think it's just old, dated, weird. Uh... See, so we're looking. We found a wall. I think it's just bad. Yeah, I think the game just has bad controls. Uh, still looking for another wall. Man, I don't know. Bro, I hate this shit because I do this shit and then it doesn't matter. Like they get an alert off every time. It's so annoying. Like, I don't really know. Like, is there a way to guarantee I do the neck strangle? Is there a way to like make sure I do that? So you have to say so it to stop. Okay, okay, stop. I think that's my problem. Yeah, I, I didn't real I didn't realize that that was the determining factor behind that. I didn't realize. So we've already been here, and this wasn't it. We know that's not it. Uh, I guess could it be back through here? Back through here, maybe. Back through here. Yeah, you gotta like stop and then do the grab because if you do the judo throw, they just get up and it's an instant alert. It's very annoying. Uh, uh only ball. Thanks for the resub. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I hear a camera. This is a level four door, though. Motherfucker. 
Give this people air. Okay, what's over here? Man, it's so easy to miss this. Holy crap. I didn't realize I'd actually thrown it. <laughs> All right, what, what did I get? What did I get? The fuck was the point of this? There's nothing here. <laughs> God, so there was like no point to this either. Son of a bitch. No, I don't know how to get past the lasers, man. The level four door. I don't know how to get past him yet. I mean, if it is cigarettes, if, if, if there's just cigarettes, I thought maybe I thought I was missing something else because the cigarette seemed like it sucks so bad to try to get past that shit. Maybe there is nothing else. Maybe there's nothing else. If there is something, I've got no idea. Hmm. No. Ah, uh, Tartaglia, thanks for reason. Elk, elk. El Centro Brown. Thank you for the reset. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, we're, we're not asking chat for help on this one. Uh, I keep looking at the sides of these two, but I'm just not. If there is something, I'm just super not seeing it. I guess, could it be on another floor? Like, maybe it's not on this floor. I don't know. I honestly don't know. It's a guy from Smash. I don't know where it is. Okay. Oh, sure. What do you got? Bullets. Now, this is there. You can fall through here. Nothing here. Yeah, you just gotta, like, super, super stop moving, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I know there's another guy. Yeah, I'm aware. We already blew this one up. Um, really? This is your first time seeing this game and you really like it? I'm gonna be really glad whenever I can, if, if I, I guess I'm just gonna go back up and try the cigarettes again. It, it, or maybe, maybe a chaff grenade. Maybe it's a chaff grenade. I don't think it is though. <sighs> There's nothing here. I don't know. 1998, the other year this game came out. Hmm. Certainly doesn't help that I'm about to die as well, too. Uh, okay. Well, I guess, I guess, fuck it. I guess there's nothing. I, I thought I missed something here. I think I blew up every fucking wall. I guess I'm going back up and we're going to try. We're just going to bash my brains out against that and try to figure it out. I guess I don't know what else to try here. Uh, there's nothing else. I mean, I guess it could be something on the first floor. Maybe. Okay, sure. Yeah, I know I have rations, but, um... 
Yeah, I know. It's so, okay, like, I see a laser. All right, so, like, it's down, I guess. Uh, okay. Okay. This one's two. You know what? Okay, we gotta equip it. Maybe, maybe there is nothing. Maybe you're just supposed to do with cigarettes. Uh, can the door open? Oh, uh, key card, right. <laughs> I thought, you know, I thought the lasers were a lot more complicated and I don't know. I thought it was more complicated than that. Snake, be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who gotcha. are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? The informant from the water. Dude, I wandered up. around. Never mind. I thought I was like missing Can like something. I guess not. Are you nearby? Listen. I should just go with my first instinct and just bash my brains out. Who are you anyway? One of your fans. Okay, mind detector. Oh, okay, so okay, got you. So the mind detector just shows me where they are. Got you. Roger that. You can crawl. I think I think that's what I tried first. I thought, right? I guess what I tried first. Fight, and then proceeds to get into his tank. <laughs> okay, so where is he? was my plan there i didn't know he was gonna hit me instantly I'm sorry, what do you expect me to do? <laughs> Don't you want me to get close? Grenades. Grenades. Calf grenades. Ration. I thought, Don't you want me to get close? Like, what do you want me to do? Do 
see how you like this. Uh, game? Game? Audio. Well, boss, I hope you are happy. He got the card. <laughs> we'll play with him a little longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. What did you think of him? He is just as you said. In battle, he is as if possessed by a <laughs> demon. Much like you, I would expect no less. You see? I told you so. But I will kill him. So, General is this Tyler, only in your guy's I right ear? As well as it's only in mine. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always. Yes, the raven on my head thirst for his blood oh all, all of a sudden we're back <laughs> all of a sudden we're back groundbreaking for playstation one <laughs>